All you had to do for me was turn on the film in 2019. And with four games to go, the Eagles needed to win out. And not only did they need to win out, but in each of those games, as I recall, looking at the film, Carlson had to play great in the second half and play a major role in that team winning those games in the second half. He did that, and that was in 2017. That was 2019. So in my mind, that just confirmed to me this guy still has it. That is a perfectly reasonable way of looking at this. But we all know in the world in which we live, 2019 might just as well be 50 years ago. So Mel Kuyper, you've made it very clear, abundantly clear on this program. You were not in favor of the Eagles trading Carson Wentz. I'm finally going to give you the opportunity to tell us why. A ridiculously stupid move is the way to sum it up. And even dumber than that were the Bears not giving up the 20th pick in a three or trying to get Carson Wentz. I think the Colts, uh, you know, a stroke of genius, maybe it was just because of what other teams allowed to happen that they fell into Carson Wentz and Frank Reich sitting there saying, boy, talk about an early Christmas present or a late Christmas present, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, that's what he got with Carson Wentz. That's unbelievable. Carson Wentz is a young man who is a proven MVP guy who did things in three years that very few quarterbacks have done. So to me, with the injuries, they were catastrophic. Everybody has injuries. They don't all have catastrophic injuries to offensive linemen, too, before the season even begins. Receivers, tight ends, running back. Nothing going on, and you're going to blame the quarterback and then send them packing for virtually nothing that, that equates to a quarterback with his skill set and what he's already accomplished at a young age. This was, again, one of the most ridiculously stupid moves probably in the history of the NFL, or one of the most ridiculously stupid moves. There's been a lot of them. This is right up there near the top. Go ahead, Dan. Follow the, uh, Orlovsky, follow that. I love it. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Finally, someone who... I, finally, someone who's looking at it the same way, that real, realizes that it's a big picture, that realizes, dude, you don't just find talent like that. You don't just find guys that have proven that the talent has shown up on the football field. And we will constantly blame, 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 and you're an excuse maker, an excuse. No, I'm the reality setter. The reality was it was a bad football team that became a bad situation last year. And you don't just find talented guys that can do some of the stuff that Carson Wentz did. And I'm so glad that Mel is, is one that's out, uh, speaking out about it as well. Now, spinning it forward, and I've said, I've said this about Carson Wentz. He needs to become like the president, okay? He needs to look at his job as a 24-7, 365 role. Once you're the quarterback, you're the quarterback. You're never not the quarterback, okay? You are always that person. And that's something that I do think he's got to learn from in his time with Philadelphia. Well, hey, where were my flaws my, that I can own, that I can grow from and develop from? If he goes into that, into Indy with that mindset, that he's the president, he's going to light it up this year. And I've said he's going to play MVP level football with that situation. Frank Reich's one of the best offensive minds in football. He looked at 2019 and said he still got it. That speaks volumes. And Graziano, it is tailor-made, right? It is set up as well as it possibly could yes. be for Carson Wentz. For all the things that went wrong last year, he really did get exactly what he wanted. Set up almost as well as this segment was set up for Mel Kuyper Jr. to tee off on the Philadelphia Eagles for trading Carson Wentz away when he's still in the prime of his career. Yes, look, not only is Frank Reich a, a, a bright offensive mind, Frank Reich is a good coach of human beings who sets a great tone in that Indianapolis organization. He's also a man who has friends in the Philadelphia organization where he used to work. He knows Doug Peterson. Press Taylor, who was on that coaching staff last year, is now on Indy's coaching staff. Frank Reich has had every right. opportunity, and I guarantee you he has seized on it, to find out what went wrong last year. Because he's looking at 2019 tape, and he's remembering when Dan Orlovsky would sit there in December of 2019 and go, holy fudge, dude, did you guys see what Carson Wentz is doing with these receivers that, that are just nobody's off the street? <laughs> Reich saw it, and he also has done his research. He thinks Atta he's the right drags. man to get Carson Wentz back on track, and Wentz feels the same way. And so very quickly, Mel, do you believe, having said all of that, because the, the deal has been done, the, the move has been made, is Jalen Hurts going to be the quarterback of that team now going forward? I mean, you evaluated him. You know him better than anybody. Do they In Philly, do they have their guy? <laughs> I believe they have to feel they do, or you don't basically give Carson away. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.